Good evening and welcome to tonight's Hofstra Women's Basketball Postgame Press Conference with head coach Danielle santos Agnesson, Rosie Nicholson, and Allery Gooden. Coach, give us your thoughts following tonight's win over Elon. Uh, yeah, I, I, listen, I thought we came out and, and we played hard from the start. Um, they got after it in that first half. Defensively, they forced them into some really tough shots. They forced them into some uh, really tough possessions there. Uh, we got after it offensively. We were moving the ball. We were playing really well offensively. Shot the ball well first half. Um, I thought we played together. In that first half, uh, we, we did turn the ball over and we, and, and we gave up those offensive rebounds. And, and that is a difference maker in the game right now. Um, so we've got to get back. We've got to clean that up. We've got to uh, have confidence with that ball on the offensive end of the floor and, and know the things that we're doing when, they're, when, they're, when we're doing them well. Um, we've got to have confidence in those things. Questions? Coach, what can you say about Zahina's defense tonight holding Elon's center, uh, Ivana McGill, to just one of 11 from the field tonight? Yeah, she's definitely a, a post pre a, a presence in the paint right there, defensive presence. She made some of those shots tough coming to the paint, um, forced her into you know some some shots a little bit outside her wheelhouse, um, and 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 was pretty aggressive with her. And so I, I think she did a great job of being that presence, and she's got to continue to do that. Coach, how did you instruct the team to approach uh, neutralizing the scoring threat on the P one side in the form of uh, Raven Preston? Um, again, I, I think our guards did a great job as, as, well of our, as well as our post. They do a great job as a team of getting downhill, getting to the paint, and attacking the basket. Um, I thought on the ball we did a great job. I thought our help side rotations were there. Um, we did a great job of being in the gaps and, and giving that support on the ball so that person on the ball could have the confidence to, to pressure how they needed to. And so I think all of our guards did a great job on the perimeter. Um, and then our rotations, I felt like we're on point surrounding them. Uh, so that we could stay comfortable on the ball. Rosie, as we saw, a game got down to the wire, at one, pos one possession game at uh, one point. When you guys are going into those final timeouts, meeting with the team, how are you guys feeling in terms of trying to calm yourselves down and just get that next board, get that next shot? You know, I think it's just a matter of a team staying composed and being together. Um, just making sure that we're on the same page, we're following and executing like our game plan and just having the confidence to go out there and do what we need to do, whether it's getting a stop, whether it's scoring. Coach, we've obviously talked all season about how big a presence of the scorer Brandy has been. What has it meant for you on a night where maybe it wasn't her best scoring game, just to have a massive impact in another area with double digit rebounds? Yeah, I mean, she, she's got to impact the floor um, in, in whatever way she is while she's out there. And, and as you mentioned, I thought she did a great job from the very beginning of getting after it on the rebounds. Um, she, she can have an impact in a variety of ways, with, especially with her versatility and the mismatches, the mismatches um, that she causes when she's out there on the floor. And so, again, she, I mean, she, she, she got us nine points. Obviously, we know what she's capable of, um, but she still had that impact there in getting those uh, 14 rebounds. Rosie, as Kayla mentioned, the game got a little closer towards the end, I guess, as you guys would have liked. But with uh, 40 seconds ago, you had a huge steal and score. What did you see on that inbound pass? Um, it's just a matter of reading. I know that defense is what I bring well to this team. And when it's time to get a stop, you got to get a stop, you know. So if you read the pass well, you get it, go for it. That's just my motto. It's having the confidence, knowing that I can, that's what I bring, that's what I can do. Now, Reese, this is conference win number one for you as a member of the Pride. Talk about what that feels like coming in. Obviously, a few rookie of the week nods. How, how does this feel, conference win number one in the back? Yeah, it feels good. It's really good win for our team. Um, I'm just happy we got to come out. I mean, it's not the ending we would have liked, but you know, we can finish games. So great. Alex, you've had a chance even back to that season opener in Rutgers to knock down some big shots and big moments. Just kind of walk me through what you saw on that triple you were able to knock down from the right side. Um, so me and they, we did the exchange. We always work on that in practice. I always work on that shot um, in practice. We worked on it this morning. We worked on it all week. So it was a, a in motion shot, I guess. It's, I always work on it. So I wasn't nervous taking the shot. Calories and Rosie, how big was this conference win to both of you? For me, it was a, a big accomplishment, you know, um, just having momentum with the team that we have, the group that we have, it's something that we want to bring to this conference is that we have a presence here. Um, and I think collectively, we all just were on the same page in that. We want to be a family, we want to have a winning culture. And so this is just the beginning of showing and proving what we are here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same up for what Roby said. And um, I'm not gonna remember this game, it's my first game, conference win with Hofstra. So I'm gonna remember this Elon game. 
Coach, with North Carolina A&T coming up on Sunday, uh, what does the team need to work on with, against the Aggies, and what are some things the team can, can build on going into Sunday? Yeah, um, we got to take care of the ball for sure. They're going to come out, they're going to pressure us, they're going to be aggressive, they're going to get in the passing lanes. Um, with that, we can take care of the ball. We have the ability to do so. Um, we've got the we've got the skill and, and the talent to, to handle it. Now we just got to have the confidence to be able to do it and the rhythm and the flow. Um, as, as well as boxing out, uh, they've got some uh, post players and some guards that crash the boards and, and do a great job of getting after it. And so we've got to shore up and we've got to clean those things up um, to, to then help us go in feeling great going into Sunday. Um, I thought our defensive intensity that we had and, and keeping trying to keep Elon out of the paint um, and force some tough shots on the perimeter, uh, we've got to continue that because very similar with the ante, they're going to want to attack, they're going to want to get to the paint. Um, and so we've got to make sure that we're, we're tight and, and keep in contested shots outside of the paint. There are more, no more questions. This includes tonight's post-game press conference. Coach Rosie Allo, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.